All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play Resident Evil Outbreak File 2 on the Ninja Stalker, and... So, I tried... So, on the last video, I mentioned that I purchased the game Back for Blood, and then I was going to go and install it, and then install finished, and I was going to play the game. Unfortunately, the game doesn't work. It will not launch. It was a application error uh, application error 0 X C 0 0 6 zeros and a 5 and this error occurred upon initiation of the game so like when you open Steam you click the, uh, play the game and the loading the loading screen for Back for Blood shows up with uh, anti-cheat system or some bullshit, and then after the anti-cheat uh, cycles through, it doesn't it doesn't load the game. It, ga it gives the uh, the error, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that anti-cheat uh, software is supposed to be for like online play. I don't even fucking play online. You guys know that. It's rare if I do play online, but I was like, okay, how about I load into Steam offline to force the game to play in single player still got the error so then i said okay let me remove anything to do with the anti-cheat that way it prompts the game to install it upon initiation of the game being opened because the game hasn't even been fully implemented into the uh into the computer right because you can browse through the files and see all files that you have available of the game. No dice, application error. So then I said, okay, how about let's make it simple. Let's just restart the computer and see if that's the issue. And again, the error. That was like 20 bucks on a game that usually costs $65, but I got it on a, a Steam sale. And I wrote back to Steam and I said, look, this is a problem. It should never, ever be when you buy a game whether 70 bucks or 10 bucks that you run into this issue and you can't even get into the the, the main game so i got refunded and that was it i can't i can't play back for blood because of this stupid fucking issue that's going on uh i do apologize because i wanted to do a let's play on it i wanted to uh, play another zombie game but looks like it's not going to happen but that's fine there's other games out there there's other times there's other moments it doesn't really matter. So we'll get back into this game. I'll see about doing Halo Infinite. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I still got it. There's still Halo 2, which I, I really despise. And there's Halo 3, Halo 3 ODSG, Halo 4, Halo 5. Uh, crap, I don't know. Apart from that, there's also Modern Warfare 2 Remake. I could do could do a let's play on that. I don't know. It really depends. Anyways. Uh Desperate Times. Now, we could play as Kevin, and he has that pistol with an extra clip. Now in this particular level, Kevin being a police officer, he has his own locker that he can open. And I believe he has extra 45 ammunition in there. That could help us throughout the game. It might be a possibility of picking Kevin for this level. Or I could pick George and use his healing abilities to manage my team. I could do that. It's a possibility. I can win with George. I could win with Kevin. The only issue is at the end of this level in particular. The end of this level in particular, I believe we have to get rid of 20 zombies. With George, I would just be focusing on healing people. 
supporting the team. With Kevin, I could focus on defending the team and engaging the enemy. And then with Cindy, uh, it would just be to heal the heal and support the team. It kind of bums me out that the characters on this screen don't quite 100% look like the characters in game. Like you see George's face. When you actually play as George, he doesn't look like that. Kevin doesn't 100% look like that. I think Kevin in game actually has white a wider set of lips, which kind of makes it look weird. Cindy, kind of actually matches Yoko definitely does not look like her character Alyssa will always look like a bitch uh, I think David also doesn't look anything like his character fuck this guy and uh I think Mark slightly looks different as well. Okay, so who who do we wanna who do we wanna play as? If we pick Kevin, we can unlock some ad lib for uh, the characters in the game. So the NPCs, rather. Let's give Kevin. Let's give, we'll give Kevin a try. Uh, mm -hmm. Cindy and Hi. George and now I don't remember on hard difficulty where Kevin starts at. He might be outside. He might be upstairs on the roof. Look at this. It's a map of this I can't. I can't quite place. recall. There should be a ventilation tunnel on the ground. And that'll get us out of here? It should, but it's so narrow, you might be the only one who can fit through. And there's Marvin. I think, uh, Lieutenant Marvin. Although the uniforms that they're wearing doesn't denote any rank. As you can see on his, uh, shoulder, he has no Lieutenant rank. It's gonna be our way out of here. Let's see where we're at, and hopefully we're not uh, engulfed in smoke. Or gas, rather, not smoke, but gas. Oh, okay, so we're in here. Uh, paper. Okay. 45. Okay. And 7. Okay. Let's hurry up. Okay, so that's not open. I'll take that. Oh, it's just the regular handgun. Shit, it's not the handgun high power. Um, let me see. Sometimes you can open... Yeah, Kevin's not strong enough to push this. If we were uh, Mark, he'd be able to push that and we'd find something else. Let's go ahead and move this box. Kevin is strong enough to move this. Actually, all the characters are strong enough to move this. I guess the sense of realism is that they could have made it to where Yoko would not would not have been strong enough to move any item on her own. That could have been something. Okay, so there's nothing there. This box over there. Uh, dude, let me see if this could open right now. Probably not, but... Yep, no need to push it right now. Okay. Let's be quick about this. Nothing over here? Okay. Uh... All right, let's check in here. We have the the kennel and the jail cells. All right, no gas. We're good. Yeah, you saw how Kevin's lips are like just wide as fuck. Oh, fuck. 
One. Two. Three. Four. It's usually four to five, if, if you're lucky. Red Herb will pick that up for George. It's locked. All right. I think there's some items in here that we have to pick up. Oh, shit. Cindy. Hey, you. Hey, you. Kevin. Thanks. Okay. Hey, you. Kevin. Hi. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Come on, George. Hurry up. And then he'll turn... Yep, there we go. Perfect. He'll turn it into what it needs to be. Now, I think on normal difficulty, there's nothing in here that you really need. Maybe some ammo. Other than that, I don't think there was anything important in there. I, don't, I think an easy difficulty, there might have been something in here that was important. And it's, ran it's not exactly random, but it's like it's set that certain items are in certain areas. And I think on hard difficulty, for sure, there's something in here important. I'm trying to hurry up and open this shit because I don't want the gas to formulate in here. I think it's usually 11 or 12 kicks, and then you do the shoulder tackle. I haven't been counting, but I counted a long time ago. And you just just time it like that. That way you don't have to have a pause moment. Also, if you notice, Kevin, whenever he does uh, kick, he, sl he slightly slides to the to the left. So you have to re-angle yourself. Wow, see, I was too soon with that. Or too close, rather, for the shoulder elbow tackle or whatever the fuck. Okay. Let's get this. Let's go in here. There's going to be dogs in here. Uh, I need to make sure. Actually, let's pop a save. Oh, shit. Everyone get out. We don't need to be in there. Let's all gas the fuck up. If you wait just a bit, it should go away. I guess while we're at it, let's go over here and see what we got in the jail cells. Okay. Got some herbs. Alright, she picked it up. That's fine. Mm, poor. Something a while ago, but I dropped it somewhere. Okay, that's all he's going to say for now. That'll clue us in to get them whatever items. All 
Alright. Okay. Alright, is it clear to get in here now? Okay. Please tell me that there was... Oh, there it is. I was like, where's it at? There it is. That's what we need. Um... And then you just do this. Of course, I just wasted a gas canister to prove a point that you can activate the the anti Ah, oh, here we are. This is exactly what I didn't want. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we have the Onyx plate. Yeah. Woo! Let's move! Yes. Can't remember. There's a red herb right there. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Yes. Good. Okay. Now. Hey you! Kevin! Hi! Cindy? No! Cindy? George! Cindy! There we go. Kevin! Thanks! Yes! And I'll take that ammo. You can shoot the zombies out there if you want. Uh, it would just be a waste of ammo. There's a green herb over there. There's a stick right there. Gas canisters around. What is this? Handgun magazine? Uh, maybe not, but... We got some green herbs. We got some red... Blue herbs. Okay, unicorn metal. Where does that go again? Uh, fuck. Where's the unicorn metal go again? Where's it go? I think that goes. Ah, uh, fuck. Where's it go? Where's it go? Where's it go? Where's it go? Um, there is a corridor next to the interrogation room. I believe that's where it goes. It's not over here. I think it's the opposite side. I'm just going in here real quick because there should be items in here. Okay, here we go. Hey, you.
you know, so you can do some ad lib with them. That's pretty much it. Let's open this up. What's in here? Shotgun rounds. Oh, okay. 2236. Antivirus. Uh, was that three? Nope, it's one. I'll take that. I'll take that. Can't open this. Alyssa can. And I think if you go over here, you should see a liquor walk on by. Presumably the liquor that kills the police officers down this hallway that we can't get through because it says tightly closed from the inside. It won't open. But when Leon and Claire come to the police station because this the events right now that are occurring takes place just before Leon and Claire get to the police station. That's how Leon and Claire run into uh, Marvin later on. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get on out. Bring Herb over there. And I think this room right here is where Marvin ends up uh, going to. Okay, there's stairs go up. What we got here? Medicine. This could be given to George. Oh, you better take this shit. Hey, you! Have a tie. There we go. Hey, you! Have a tie. Gas. And for the ad lib that you notice between uh, Kevin and uh, Marvin. You know, he's relying on Kevin here. Kevin, uh, I think the history of Kevin for the police department, he's a, he's a bit of a seasoned, uh, a seasoned cop, if you will. Uh, he has, the history bio for Kevin is that he has tried for the stars selection, I think, two or three times and has failed two or three times. So... He's he's been around the block. He's he's definitely not a, a rookie cop. He's also one of the most athletic. He's also a great shot. Uh, Marvin being I again I believe Marvin is is a lieutenant. He he knows his officers and Kevin's one of his. Kevin's a good cop. As it as it stated in his in his in his bio, he's a, a dynable optimist. But um, Kevin does have his moments, and there's a reason why it being him being that dino wool optimist uh, could have been could have been the reason why he has failed the uh, star selection program. But 
if there would have been another time, a different, a different scenario, Kevin definitely would have been a, uh, a stars team member. So he is an experienced, he is an experienced officer. So Marvin is definitely counting on Kevin in the events of what's happening right now, uh, to get through and find a way out. All right, no nerve get. God dang it. Uh, we'll just go in here, wait in the east office for a bit. All righty. Uh, hey, you. What did I say the code was? 2236? It's the same code from uh, Resident Evil 2, so... Did you just pick something up that I didn't need you to pick up? Oh, you got that. What about this? Handgun high power? Oh, this, so there is a handgun high power hanging around here. Okay, and then there's the burst handgun ammunition. Iron pipe. Okay, so she picked up the pistol. That's what was there originally. Oh, shit. One in your mouth. to save the ammo for the high power pistol because that's what I really need. What did that man okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so I think it's 2236. Hi. Sweet. What would you possibly be wanting to give me right now? Um secret file yeah, I guess. As long as we come back in here to this office and pick up the pistol. We have to give that... Okay, uh... We need to get rid of some, uh, items. Oh, shit. Alright, we need to get rid of some items. I need to get rid of that unicorn metal, which goes into the hallway around the first floor lobby over here. It's around the corner. Alright, no more nerve gas. Cool, let's get out of here. What is this? Pistol ammo. We can get that later. We got a battery over here. I can't do anything with that. It should be down over here. Hopefully there's no nerve gas in the area. Fuck, I called it. You see how fast that shit makes your virus gauge go up, man? Fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Also, another thing to note, you can do this. You can hold in a door. Now, if you're Mark, you can hold in a door a lot longer than anyone else because you have that strength. Kevin and everyone else can't hold the door forever, and eventually the zombies will break through the door. And you can get injured that way. Uh, let me see. Two sets of handgun bullets. Are we free to enter now? Did the nerve gas go away in the hallway? Yeah, okay, good. There should be... Fuck out of here! So, he took five shots. Woo! 
That was close. Caution. Oh, come on, man. What fucking boo shit. Just hurry up and get over here. Hopefully none of them got grabbed by the zombie at the window because that would suck. Uh, let me see. Y'all let the zombie in here? Somebody help me. Can I get you guys to stand next to each other? Kevin! Shit, they didn't stand next to each other. They failed me. They failed me. Crawl on down over here real quick. Hey, there's a shotgun. We found the shotgun, folks. Let's give the shotgun to whoever has the ammo for it. I wasn't paying attention if anyone still had the ammo for it. God damn it. There, now you have... Alright, let's go over here. Let's grab that canister. Wait, what would I trade the canister for? Shit. Because <sighs> they're not going to follow me in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um Hey you. Here, somebody take this please. Kevin, thanks. What is it? Ruby, that's what I thought. Okay. Forget the canister. We're just we're just gonna get the fuck out of here, cause we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. There's a red herb over there. Just don't get near him. Mind you, I still have my 45 and the clip for the 45. Or not the clip, but the magazine. I don't know why I have a habit of saying that. Back the fuck up. Who are you coming at like that? There you go. Eat a bag of smash sticks. Alright, ammo, ammo. Let's go over here, drop off the ruby. Then we need to go find that reporter, give him a fucking uh, file. There we go. Uh... Let's go and get the ammo. I, I definitely need the ammo. All I got is just one fucking bullet left. There is a... A, a handgun HP somewhere. I need that. Because I believe that, that pistol is a little bit stronger than the, the one I currently have. Grab you real quick. Over here. East office. We'll grab the six rounds that I left at the safe. Or not. Oh, oh, no, no, we're good. Okay. Alright. It might be on the rooftop. I don't know. 
Should come out here and meet a guy named Fred, I believe. I think that's Fred right there, or that might be Elliot. Drop that pistol there. Uh, da -da -da -da, let me see. We need to. We need to give. I need to give this file to, uh, homeboy in the, uh, first floor East Hall. Okay, yeah, now we're getting close to the locker room for these guys. And there's a liquor in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a some bitch right there. Just, just fucking run, people. Go. All right, we'll get in here, open the locker. Uh, unfortunately, we can get attacked in here and get surrounded pretty bad. There's, uh, let's see. Not what I wanted to do. Joker key and forty five mag rounds. What did the Joker key do again? I can't remember. Thank you, Gun. A picture of the Joker stamped on it. I don't remember where that goes, to be honest. Bitch! Jesus Christ, this place just gets... And off we go. Where does the Joker key go? Where does that Joker key go? I don't remember where the Joker key goes. Oh, man, that's going to drive me crazy. I don't remember the Joker key. I don't remember where it goes. I gotta look it up because I, I, re I recall that I messed that up in the past. The Joker key. What is it? What is it unlock? Um, let me see something. Desperate uh -oh. times. Joker key. Joker key, night duty room. Easy, normal, hard, very hard. Purpose, if you have Joker key in your inventory, you can unlock simple locked doors. Cannot be used on a desk or... Uh, okay. 
If plan is Kevin Ryman, it could be found in your locker in the night duty room in all difficulties except for hard and very hard. In very hard, it could be found in the main hall, and in hard, it could be found on the rooftop. That's not true. I'm playing this game on hard right now, and it was found in the locker. What the fuck are you on about? I don't know about that one. Uh, let me click on this one. Okay, so this key can be used within desperate time scenario and is an item that's exclusive to Kevin. This key is capable of unlocking any door within the police station, but can only be used once. What? So, I don't get it. What can I use to unlock with it then? I, I don't remember. Oh, that's right. It's locker. What can I unlock with that? So the the kennel would have been one, but I already broke the kennel open. There's another location, the autopsy room. I can use the key to open that instead of trying to break through. Good thing is we're near the autopsy room right now, so yay. There's also an ACE key. The ACE key is for unlocking the safe in the waiting room. Safe in the waiting room? What are you talking about? What wait? What waiting room? Uh, let me see. Where's the waiting room? Substation, underground, kennel, holding cells. Let's hurry up and get to the autopsy room and just use this key. Oh shit! God dang it. Autopsy room? Uh... God! Somebody, please. Help me. Wow, he wasted a shit ton.
All right, everyone, we need to skedaddle on out of here. I didn't even use the fucking key for this, this place. I see a green herb, though. Just shotgun rounds? No, it's handgun rounds. Cindy, here, take this. Oh my god, there isn't shit in this. Oh, fuck. Everyone's about to fucking die. I think if we give him the file, he's gonna give us some healing items. If it's if it's a first aid spray, I can get these guys. I can get them to stand still. Oh my god. Hey you! Heaven! Hi. Sapphire plate. God dang it. My apologies. Oh, fuck. Where did I see where where did I see a, a first aid spray? Was there one in the dog kennel? God. Fuck out of here. Oh my god, he came back up. Alright, he's dead. Uh Alright. Was there oh, fuck, where did I There's healing items outside, that's for sure. They're herbs though, which means I gotta give the blue ones I gotta give the blue ones to George. He could turn them into recovery items. Uh and then there's the green herbs. Uh, where did I see a first aid spray, though? That's what I want to know. Let me pop a save. All right. So we have a save. Let me go in here and see if I can find a first aid spray. Because if I can find a first aid spray, I can get these guys to stand still and I can just spray them both at once. Uh, green herb. Stupid dog. Stupid dog. Not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Get off! 
What a waste. Oh, hell no. That ain't happening. Where's, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Three. Okay. Uh, there's a blue herb in there, but it's surrounded by dogs. Fuck that. That's... Oh, come on. E Oh my god! Alrighty, um, there's something upstairs I need to move. I need to move the trunk upstairs, uh, once I go all the way around. And then there's the rooftop, um... Oh, fuck, Sydney's about to... Okay, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. There's downstairs. It's next to autopsy room. There might be something in there. Let me grab that Joker key. Where's that Joker key at? Where'd I put it? Let me grab that just in case.
Come on, man. Even this fucking place? Oh good, it stopped. Shotgun rounds. Filling Sydney. Caution. Warning. Caution. I have a feeling Sydney died. Another Joker key. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tried using the fucking keys, and there's two of them for whatever reason. How? I am not going to make it. Except for us. You died. Yeah, she died too. I'm pretty sure she died in the uh in the car park. Now where does that fucking key go? Because the autopsy room was all was unlocked, and I'm wondering if it was unlocked because one of the other two spawned in there. What else was there? The other thing too, Kevin, uh, you end up trying to save his ammo for fights later on, because I don't like using a 45 early in the game. But because of that, that causes me to not use his primary use of weapon and his his uh, his magazine for that primary use of weapon. So that's one item in the inventory I don't use at all. George, on the other hand, he has the capsule shooter, which I can immediately use herbs and and use them. So I wonder if it would have been a better pick to have George as my primary character. Let me think. Because there was definitely a lot of herbs in the area. A lot of herbs. And if anything, I could turn some of those herbs into antivirus pills.
And then there's a Joker key on the rooftop too, so that was kind of odd. What else was there? If I pick Kevin again, I'll have to focus on not picking up his 45 ammunition. And then I need to dump the other 45 ammunition somewhere nearby for the end of the for the end of the level. That way I can have inventory space for all the other items. The other issue is the fucking gas. There's not too much of the nerve gas agent that I can use to stop that noxious gas. There's not too many of those around. Okay, hold up. Let's, let's see, how can we do this? Because if I pick Kevin again, it's because I'm going to utilize his 45 or some sort or some form of pistol. The only other good weapons in desperate times scenario is in the garage part where you open the uh, the shutters, and then you could go around to the SWAT van, and there should be a submachine gun, maybe another shotgun. Or even maybe the Magnum, the Magnum handgun, which Kevin could utilize and just kill zombies like that. Because the idea for this level is to find those little, uh, those little plates. Find those as fast as possible. And then find the secret items for the, uh, for that investigator who's in prison. Because then he'll give you extra items. He might even give you a handgun. think how can we do this the issue I was also running into is that George and Sydney don't just willy-nilly shoot rounds off that's a good thing because they save ammunition but it's a bad thing because they don't necessarily defend themselves they kind of rely on you to defend them And that's a problem because I need my inventory space for the items. Essentially, it would be an inventory management issue where I'm not using my 45 or the 45 uh, magazine. Oh shit, let me think. Yeah, they're the ones, they're the ones that gotta defend themselves. And then I gotta go around everywhere finding all the hidden items. But the problem with that is 
the gas, that gas. Oh man, whenever that gas comes out. How can we do this? We could try again. Yeah, sure, whatever. We can try again. Uh. Fuck, but I'm gonna have to be like a pack mule for this entire thing. Yes! Mm -hmm. Hi. Try again. We'll skip. Alright, let's pause real quick. I'm gonna go to the restroom. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Alright, um, we're in the garage. Let me think. If I go behind me, I can get to the autopsy room. Actually, let me pop a save state right here. I can go to the autopsy room, pick up the plate that's next to that zombie that's crawling, uh, reaching out through the vents. If the autopsy room is locked, however, which it shouldn't be, but if it is, I can then go upstairs 
into the night duty office, grabbed the Joker key in my locker, grabbed the extra 45, run back downstairs, open the autopsy room with the Joker key, grab the plate, then run over here, I can do that. There is also there is also a plate in the kennel. Hmm. Well, I did pop a safe state, so let's let's just figure this out. Okay. There's a pistol right here. Use this for self defense. My partner should be able to come through there. Uh huh. Shotgun rounds. I'll take that. Uh, let's see. Somebody take this. Kevin. Look at that, the autopsy room's already unlocked, so... What the fuck? First aid spray...
That's another thing too. If you're, uh, if you just get to the door and open it in time, just as a zombie is uh, banging on the door, you will not get injured by the zombie. Who just arrived at the door? Let's put one of those right there. Put one of those right there. So all my 45 ammunition is out here. Now I can have a full inventory of just items. I see there's something up there next to the green herb. I don't know what it is. Zero seven six four.
Ooh, shotgun, huh? There's the high powered. So that's where it was. It was up here. Oh, so there's a waiting room. Cindy. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hi. Save. Thank you. 
Kevin! Oh dear, help! Somebody help me! And they don't really do a great job defending themselves, which kind of annoys me. Cindy, did you literally just drop all that ammunition? AI partners are just brilliant. Oh my god! Recovery medicine. I needed to do. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. the code nope no nope. it was like zero seven something zero seven six four Yes. 
I just heard a zombie get through that door. Come on, man. Why do you guys suck? Like, why do you guys suck so much? King. Why, man? Die. Our joke, our key. Okay. 
Two for one, motherfucker! Somebody help me! Oh my god, come on, man! God! Some fucking horse shit. There's an A written on it. You mean the ace key? Watch, that's the key over there on that side. I can't really tell based on what it looks like from here. Watch that ends up being a key that I need to open that fucking safe. I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> oh man. That nerve gas. I get you no not you Sydney why I have a feeling uh, that reporter in the prison might have the ace key. Might have the ace key. Or the ace key might be in the... Uh, the garage complex. Mm 
All right, we got one more. Where was it again? Wait, hold up. Where was it again? Uh... Who had the final piece? I gotta find. Uh, I gotta look online. I don't want to waste time. Where was that final piece at? Pick that one up. Ah, there we go. I called it. So, 
for this the for this level offline on certain difficulties you have a number of uh enemies to kill versus offline uh versus online so offline on easy difficulty you need to kill 10 zombies if you're online you need to kill 30 if you're on normal offline it's 20 online is 40 on hard difficulty 25 online 45 and then on very hard 30 online 50 and it makes sense because if you're online you're playing with competent players or at least it should be the nerve gas is not random and is in fact set to a complex set of patterns each difficulty has two patterns pattern a pattern b and there can be two or three rooms flooded with gas at a time you don't say hard and very hard uh use the same patterns the first and second rooms are almost identical to easy and normal with the exception of the end of the pattern a sequence on hard the gas floods a room for only 60 seconds before moving with it being 30 and very hard huh I'm not going to understand this pattern. Oh my god, I am not going to understand this pattern. Holy crap, yeah, I'm not going to get that. Event checklist. Hmm. Oh yeah, check this out. So I'm reading. Uh, I'm trying to read up like events in in this level, but it's got personality and relationship types, right? For Kevin here. So it says right here, uh, Kevin is an all around likable guy. He is a dyed in the wool optimist, like I mentioned before, who doesn't dwell on petty matters. Kevin likes having a good time and often smokes and drinks. Despite despite Kevin's general attitude, he does not like being emotional and can be impatient with others. Kevin is uh, laid back and carefree to excess, often acting purely on impulse without any thought. His impulsive actions, such as running an extensive tab at Jack's Bar and drinking at work, have garnered him a somewhat negative reputation. Jack's Bar being uh, the first level you play in the first Resident Evil Outbreak, File 1 as I call it. Um... So he's a regular there, so he drinks a lot, and he drinks at work, apparently. Likewise, Kevin also proves to be fairly unreliable with basic tasks like cleaning and personal management. Kevin has a strong interest in sports and cars. He's an avid fan of baseball, uh, base, uh, baseball, baseball, basketball, football, and racing. Kevin appears to have 
had some knowledge regarding his then soon to be co-worker Leon Scott Kennedy, but the extent of the relationship or thereof or lack thereof is unknown. He was close with his fellow officers at the precinct, namely Gene, Aaron, and Fred. He also held Officer Marvin Bernal in high regard. Kevin possesses superior athletic abilities, being in top physical shape, and able to fight in close quarters. A self-described hell of a shot, Kevin is also able to use handguns with heightened accuracy. Kevin is fairly has a fairly large and up-to-date knowledge of cars and is skilled enough to race competitively. Huh. Interesting. That's pretty much it for Kevin. So, with that being said... Okay. Uh, well, anyways... We have the onyx plate. I believe we have the ruby plate. I think it's the sapphire plate that I need. And I think the sapphire plate is going to be given to us once we give... Uh, once we give the uh, fucking file. Hey, you. To uh, Ben. At least I hope so. Holding cells. Here we are, Sapphire Plate. All right, uh, let's get the fuck out of here, yeah? You piece of shit. You had one job. You had one job. You could have mixed the blue and the red herb together, but you didn't. I hate you. The AI, man. I swear. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, 
God damn it. Oh, fuck hell! Who put this shotgun here? Underground parking garage. Broken shotgun, that's why. No! Why are you going back? Son of a bitch! Can give it to George and he could turn it to some recovery. I could take the green herbs for myself. Take at least an hour to get through a space this narrow. Use this to keep in touch with me. It doesn't have much range, but the signal should get through if I'm close by. Leave it to me. I promise I'll be back with help. Hey, you made it! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm headed your way now. I'll pull the truck up to the front gate to get everyone together there. I won't be able to keep that position long, so hurry up, okay? I'll contact you again later. All right, be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, you! Cat, hey, you! Oh, my God. All right, let's go to the garage. We go out here, and unfortunately, Marvin's been attacked. I don't know how that zombie got through and attacked Marvin. I don't know how Marvin let it happen. Wide fucking open. I don't. I, don't, I just don't understand. It's whatever. Shit happens, I guess. Make it through, get to the garage. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before it closes. Made it! All right, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? People, what do we have? Shotgun rounds. George, that's for you. You better pick that shit up. First aid, somebody better pick that shit up. Machine gun, somebody better pick that shit up. Uh, film D. Film D. I don't know where the other films are. Uh, what the hell is this? Recovery eye? Okay. Hey, man, you got a shotgun. You better fucking figure it out. Oh, shit. We got film D. We can give film D to, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, that was close. He almost got me. Hopefully film D will get me something good. Maybe like the Magnum. If I can get the Magnum, we'd be pretty good. We go out there. I got... Uh, let me pick this up. We can get the Magnum, and then I can pick up the two forty-five magazines, and then we'll be somewhat set. Kind of. Uh, hey, you! Hi. It's one for you. Hey, you! Cat, hey, you! Hey, you! Cat, hey, you! Bitch! Hey, you! Cat, hey, you! Thank you. Yes. Hey, you! Have a Hi. A submachine gun. Bitch just fucking died. Okay, uh... Oh, oh boy, uh... That fucking sucks.
Let's hurry up and get the fuck out of here, yeah. We have ammo outside. Uh yeah. I don't know if it's enough though. Two submachine guns. Uh yeah. here. Alright, hold up. I need to... So if I grab that padlock, I can go upstairs to the roof, use the padlock to open that. I don't know what's up there, though. And I'm already at 80% on the viral gauge. You know what? Let's pop a save. Alright, so we have a safe state. Uh, padlock... Let's grab that. Let's go check this shit out. I don't remember what's up there. I could look it up online, but I kind of don't want to waste your guys' time doing that. Let's make the trip to if we die in the process or it ends up being not worth it. Uh, I'm just going to load a safe state back. I need to know what's up there. If what's up there is the Magnum Revolver. I'm taking that shit. I'm running down here as fast as I can to initiate the countdown. That Magnum Revolvers was definitely going to save us. I think one shot out of the... God dang it. I think one shot out of the Magnum Revolver from Kevin when he does his little pop shot shit will kill a zombie like fucking instantly. Let's just wait a little bit. Oh my god, George. Why... Why did you why did you do that? Wait. Yes. Now I got to do this. Move. I can't remember. Was there a healing item over here? I think there was a healing item in the witness interrogation room or whatever the fuck. Might be worth it. Let's go check it out. There might be a healing item in here. There is. Oh, hey, welcome, welcome in, uh, welcome in here. You you threw away. Hey you, Kevin. Hi. Don't ever give up that shit again. That's a shotgun, my guy. That's another weapon that you could possibly use. Don't ever throw that shit away. Uh, okay. Get on out. Pad. Oh man. Grab that for now. Uh. Bitch. I 
really want to waste the, the freaking submachine gun ammo on her either. Was there a blue herb out here somewhere? I think there's one outside. I don't know if there was a blue one over here just minding its own fucking business. Yep, there is. Perfect. All right. Combine. Present. Bro, you better figure it the fuck out. Good for now. Let's try again. Listen up, everyone. Get to the front lobby. We're on a time limit now. I think we have one minute. He also had ammunition. I could probably pick that on the way back. We just need to hurry up. God damn!
And we did it. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see what the padlock would have unlocked, but we killed the 30 zombies that we needed to kill. Is this everyone? What about Marvin? Only one survivor was harmed in the making of this. He had two zombies right behind him. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! Holy shit! Martin! I don't know why he was freaking out. He he was in a vehicle behind a locked door, so. You don't need to worry about him, Rita. He was born to be a cop. It'll take a lot more than that to stop a tough guy like him. Hell, we haven't even finished training the new recruits yet. Right, Marvin? And there goes Leon and Claire. I'm not dead yet. And you can only see that cop car with the lights going off. That is, quote unquote, Leon and Claire if you play as Kevin Ryman. You won't see that with any other character. Rank D, two or three. Uh, nah. Uh. Nah. Alright, bonus costume. What? Alrighty. We got one scenario left. One scenario, folks. I don't know what costume we unlocked, though. That's kind of odd. I wonder if it was Marvin's. We can find out real quick. Oh, excuse me. Collection. Costume. Hmm. I think it's this one. Yep, I think it's this one, and it's Marvin's. Yep, it's Marvin. Now, it's a mark type. When you have this costume in use, you will start off the level bleeding. Because Marvin... When we left off with Marvin in Desperate Times, he was bleeding in the abdomen section. When you pick Mar when you pick Marvin as the costume character for Mark, your character will be bleeding. Or your character will be in danger. It's one of two. I can't remember. We can we can test that theory out real quick though. Uh costume for Cindy. I think that's the Playboy costume. That's single. Yes. Let's find out real quick. Uh, here, here. Marvin, Sydney, Hi. George, Hard. Let's see what happens. Don't care. Don't care. Oh, what do you know? I'm not bleeding. Huh. But they do give them the hemostat. They do give them the hemostat. 
I don't like the way Mark runs. You see that? You see the way he runs? It just looks weird when you when you play as Marvin. Mark's running animation for a skinny guy. Dude, just look at that. He's just like He's a portly fellow. He definitely walks and runs a lot faster than he normally he normally would, but man, I kind of. Anyways, uh, quit. Yes. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we got one more level to beat on hard difficulty. Just one more. I do not think we're gonna have every survivor but our own make it to the end. I think we're just going to have one survivor survive at the end of this one. Especially if I pick uh, Cindy and George. The trend seems to be that Cindy's the first one to go and then George, and then it would be my character. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it through with three characters. Uh, on solo, single player, I, I just play too slow to make it happen. So. Now if I was to play this online. That's a different story. Not only that. Here's the other thing too. No damage clear. No weapon clear. Good fucking luck with that. That can only be done online. When you have competent players. That can help you out. The no damage clear. Basically you cannot get hit once. You cannot get touched once. Um, you can defend yourself, but if you do damage, that's where you're going to have the no, uh, the no weapon clear, I think. No, because that's, that's weapon usage. That's not melee usage where your character uses their own body strength. Um... The no damage clear is damage done to you. The no weapon clear is you using a weapon to defend yourself. Now, you got to be careful with that, though, with the no damage clear. Because you could defend yourself using the that duck dodge maneuver for certain characters, like George, for example. But if you do not time, time it correctly, or if you're not at the right distance, the zomb uh, these zombies can attack you while you are trying to engage them. And then it'll count as a hit on your character. You understand? You've probably seen it a few times in some of the videos in the past where my character were, uh, will duck or will begin to attack. And then the zombie will attack me at the same time I attack it. And then we both basically just attacked each other. That counts as part of the damage done to you. Even though you ducked and dodged or whatever, or even though you attacked them, which should have stopped them from attacking you, is not the way the game works that. The game will be like, hey, they attacked you, you attacked them, you both got hit. So, you'll lose a, you'll lose the damage clear on that. Now, in Infinity Mode, I think... The no damage clear and the no weapon clear, you cannot earn it. Because they're assuming in infinity mode, you're just going to have a weapon with infinite ammo to try and get a no damage clear. So I think they looked into it ahead of time. So, what you could do though, is give every weapon to your partners and have them defend you. And then you can get the no damage clear and no weapon clear. Good luck on online solo though. Or offline solo. Because again, your AI is not exactly... Your AI partners are not exactly smart. Uh, you're better off online. SP items, you can acquire as many as you can. You just got to have a guide that tells you where to go and what to grab. And those ones you can grab with the infinity mode. You know, infinite ammo and all that. 
you can definitely have that and find as many as you can. Like, go crazy with that shit. I think with the infinity mode, though, you're not going to earn very much points. You can clear the items, but you're not going to earn points much in return. So, have that in the back of your mind. Uh, anyways, we'll just back out. Yeah, so we'll stop the video, and I'll catch you guys, uh, I'll catch you guys next time.